Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you a quick new feature that just rolled out from HubSpot and we're super excited about this because it allows you to do some custom reporting and um, if you use Salesforce or a similar type of CRM in the past, you know that there are different type of activity types and that's basically what's available now in HubSpot. So to get there, you're gonna be in the sales area um, and click on settings. And then in settings, you're gonna click over here into um, sales and then call and meeting types. So here, this enable custom call and meeting types, you're gonna click this on and click enable. So then it's gonna give you basically these three types of call and meeting types. You can add another. So I'm gonna add one that we use at Simple Strat and it's gonna be called discovery meeting or call. And then I'm gonna click save. So now when you're in a contact record, I can go ahead and add this. So let's see what that looks like. So here I am in Tyler's contact record. If I wanted to log this activity, um, I would go ahead and go to log activity. And let's say I called him today, or let's say, let's uh, just use that example I just gave you of the discovery meeting. So I click on log a meeting, and the meeting type was a discovery meeting or call, and then I add notes here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click log activity. And then if you can see in these notes over here, again, you can filter your activity by the types you, of activity that um, is, is related to that record, but you can see that I have a meeting type, discovery meeting, or call. So another thing you can do with this is, let's say you had a meeting and you wanna go back and reclassify those, get yourself a benchmark for the month. So here I had a 30 minute meeting, I can go in and select the meeting type, and here it was a proposal review. So I would save and send updates, and that's what that looks like. So once you have the call and meeting type set and you are tracking those, you probably want to display those in your sales dashboard. So you only have a certain number of reports you can add to a dashboard unless you buy the reporting add-on feature. So if you do have uh, space left, you will know because at the bottom of your report or your sales dashboard screen, you'll have a plus sign. If you don't have a plus sign, you're probably maxed out. But if you do, um, or you'll, you won't have the chance to click add report. So click add report. And then when I do that, I'm going to create a custom report. And on the object type, I want to select engagements. And then date property, I want the actual date that the caller meeting took place, which is fine. And then date range, I want this month, and I want to show the entire month. Now on measures, I'm going to go ahead and select call and meeting type. Counts of engagements and split metric is fine. So the visualization of this information then becomes, again, all of the meeting or all of the call and meetings, and then it breaks it out by the different types that you have. So again, for this purpose, I just have examples that I've loaded in, again, since it just rolled out, but if there were this were a month and I was tracking all the activity per month, I would see different levels there uh, reported by what we input into the system. So when I click Add to Dashboard, then I can go ahead and give it a name, and I can say Sales Activity monthly. If I want to click save, then it will take me to the dashboard. So um, it's going to be all the way at the bottom. So here you can see sales activity monthly. Again, I can drag and drop this wherever I want it to go based on that dashboard and what I want to see first. So that's how that works. You can name that report whatever you want, but that is how the column meeting types work. Go ahead and give it a shot.